what? I think bill collectors have stopped calling my phone. Yeah. It must, it's got to be like a law that bill collectors can start calling your phone at like 8 o'clock. Because like at 8.02 in the morning, my shit go off. It's bill collectors. I was like, God damn, my nigga. Like, y'all just couldn't wait. They know you got it. You just couldn't wait. I ain't got it. That's all I did. If I had it, you would have it. <laughs> Maybe. They know it's, it's nothing. It's no issue. Not you, man. I don't have an 800 credit score. <laughs> there we go. My shit was a little fucked up. Now I done lost my little fucking piece of shit. Look at you talk shit. Anyway, fuck it. We back. Another week, another episode. BYOB. Oh shit, we was on? Oh shit, nigga, we on. <laughs> nigga, we on. What's up? Go ahead and introduce yourself, you fucking person, you. Wow, this guy is rude. Y'all know me. Kyle, 80 proof. I'm gonna I'm drop my aliases that I that I currently use. I'm gonna figure out some more aliases for y'all. I need some cool shit to say. Look, you know me. Smokey Robinson, we here for the week. Toki Robinson is mm-hmm. mine. <laughs> Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> Trill Cosby. He taught me a lot of things. I ain't got no money because I'm just regular Ja. Regular rich. The man is super rich. Yo, here we go with this bullshit. We go through this every week, if y'all know. Friends don't lie on friends, bro. So I'm not lying on you. That's the biggest lie ever, is telling me I'm rich. The man just told me before we got on air, he was like, look, I'm up for a promotion. It's a six-figure job. I'll be sitting behind the desk with my feet kicked up. Picture me with an office job. That's what you just told me, man. <laughs> Picture me with an office job. What's wrong with office jobs? Picture me with one. Oh, oh. I was about to say, <laughs> bitch, I got an office job. The fuck? <laughs> I mean, nigga, you own the building. Now. Of course you got an office job, you got your own office? No. I so wish. you ain't got a fucking office job. You're right. I got a cubicle job. Yeah, this nigga just played the shit out of me. <laughs> Stop saying you have an office job and you sit in a fucking cubicle. You have a cubicle job. Employed. Yeah. That's, Shout that's out it. Shout out to Tierra. Yeah. Shout, Shout out, out to Tierra for being employed. Employed. Monday through fucking Friday. <laughs> she knows who she is. Enough time to fucking thirst trap, though. Shout out to everybody who go, shout, not even everybody, because I know it's specifically women. <laughs> y'all use the fuck out of that work bathroom mirror to take that selfie in the morning. Goddamn, y'all look good. That's a fact. Don't Dude. stop, though. Don't stop doing that shit. Don't I'm, think we playing you, because I want to I wanna see more. I love to see employed <laughs> women doing employed shit, like not working while you're at work. Damn right. So I'm with all that. I'm with all that. So... Where we at today? You got the we you got the topics. I got oh man. You got the topics this week and shit. You know where I'm starting off. If I got the topics. Some filthy week. shit. Nah. That's usually where I would start off. <laughs> usually some filthy off. shit. Usually some filthy shit. We might get into some filthy shit later. We um, always gonna get into some filthy shit. Music, man. You know I love my music. Yes. You know I love my music. So the Ross tr- the Ross track list is officially released. We doing this today on Thursday, so by the time you guys get this, it'll probably be it'll be out, and then we're gonna be reviewing it because <laughs> the Ross album's gonna be fire. So we gonna we gonna dedicate the whole segment to that shit. Yeah, I think that's the first time that we actually did that with an album. We gonna go track by track through that. Yeah, we yeah. gonna do a whole segment. Yeah, we'll track we'll track for that. But um, yeah, you got a track list, or you want me to pull it up? I pull it up. We will pull it up. I mean. It doesn't matter what the track list is because it's gonna be fire. But I want I want to run I want to run down yeah, that track you got list. To, you got to that, respectfully. Shit, that shit Look. is crazy. And then there was something specifically on that track list that uh, caught my eye. You yeah. already know I'm gonna be the nigga that album drop at midnight and by twelve fifteen I'm gonna tell y'all that it's the greatest album. Of I the got year. you already gonna have a favorite song. I'm gonna have 12, a favorite song and everything at twelve oh two. I'm dropping all the quotables from the Ross album. This is gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to block this nigga after this. <laughs> If, so, you don't, yeah, if you don't like Ross and MMG, you might want to block me this weekend. Boom. Number one, track one, At The Food, Wale. That's, that, that's a, that single is out already, and I fuck with it. Track okay. two, Turnpike Ike. He just released that yesterday. I haven't really got a chance to vibe to it Okay, yet. I ain't heard that yet, so I'm going to have to check that. Turnpike Ike. Um, track three, 
nobody's favorite gunplay. That shit gonna be crazy. Cause it's gunplay. <laughs> gunplay always crazy over his shit. Track four, Summer Rain with Summer Walker. I like her voice. It's gonna be some wave on it's that. It's gonna be some smooth. It's gonna be some yeah. wave. <laughs> that shit gonna be crazy. White Lines with Dej Loaf, track five. They did a good job on Maybach Music, what was it, four? They did a good job on Maybach Music four. Yeah, yo, that, that might, song might have been wanna... five. Might have been five, but regardless, the Maybach Music that they did together was tough. Yeah, so. I wanted to fuck Dej Loaf after hearing that. Yeah, yeah, I did too, yeah. <laughs> She said, call him D-A-D-D-Y like I'm in a bassinet. I said, yeah. oh, bitch, don't, don't, yeah. talk like <laughs> don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Tell her panties always match her toes. And yeah. Shit. Like, okay. She was talking, he was talking some shit on that. Yeah, she got busy. Um, Big time with Swiss Beats. We heard that, but. That shit is fire. That's, that's track six. That's Both. Swiss Beats over a Just Blaze beat, by the way. Yeah. It's different. It's always. They've only done it a few times, but. It's always been a good mm -hmm. Swiss and Just. They yeah, that yep. shit always been a good uh Bogus Charms featuring Meek Mill track seven. Him and Meek always snap when they hit. together. Yeah, they always hit. Uh the track eight is gonna be crazy. For for I mean just for the obvious reason, but also cause it's probably gonna be Kyle's motherfucking theme song because it's Ross probably wrote it about this nigga life, but uh, Rich Nigga Lifestyle featuring Nipsey and Tiana Nipsey Taylor. Nipsey and Tiana. That shit going to be, be crazy. I can't wait to hear Nipsey. So I'm assuming that. Tiana's on the hook. Well, she might have a verse she might have a singing verse. too. You yeah, like, know. You never know what Ross going to do. Nipsey's verse is going to be fucking It's got to be retarded. This crazy. Nipsey. This Nipsey. Yeah. That shit's going to be another smooth, like, mellow oh, ass, yeah, yeah, yeah. smooth shit. Uh, Born to Kill featuring Jeezy. They hit on War Ready. Yeah. On the Mastermind yeah. album. They hit on War Ready. So I believe that. I believe he's going to bring out the best in Jeezy. I, Ross is probably going to out-rap Jeezy on that record, though. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because Jeezy out-rapped him on the War Ready record. Yeah. So I think Ross feels like he got to get some get back. Fascinated. Doesn't say who the uh, who the feature is. It might be the only song without a feature on there. We ain't, we ain't there yet because there's, there's three that don't have features. But one of them has a... One of them has a... We're going to get there. We're going to get there, though. <laughs> if you know, you know. We're going to get there. On some pushing shit. <laughs> um, I still pray with Lucci and Ball Greasy. Um, that might be the one song with the album that I'd be like, eh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not really looking forward to it. But, but it might fuck around and be some shit. Yeah. So, like the trap, trap, trap shit. It was, it's the record yeah, on the album that I I'm like... I ain't really... Uh, but it's still I would not listen, a bad I listened record. to it yeah, yeah. when it came. I just... You know, it was so, one of the skips. But I'm going to see. It's, it's, it's skippable, Boogie, but I liked might, it. Might impress me. Yeah. Running the streets with A Boogie and Denzel Curry. That's going to be all right. That's gonna be the, I think he's going to rap on that. Yeah. He'll be that's going to that's gonna be all right. I see A Boogie probably on the hook. Yeah. I like that single that they've been rocking with A Boogie with. Yeah. Got a new man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. your art. Now we here. So we got the last two. We got Vegas Residency. Well, not the last two songs, but the last two without features. Yeah. So we got Vegas Residency and Maybach Music 6. I really feel like Vegas Residency is going to have Hove on it. I think he just doesn't want to announce it. I think Hove will be on Maybach Music 6. I thought that as well. But then I found out who is on Maybach Music 6. There was a rumor going around. Who did you hear? I heard it from Ross himself. Oh, you can't beat that. Yeah, Ross said it himself. Like, um, what'd he say? He got he got Push and Wayne both up there, and he said he's waiting on the clearance. And they asked how he did it. He was like, yo, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? If I can, you know, bro, Push if, and Wayne on the if track I can there. orchestrate that, I'm going to do that. Sounds like Ross Because I, I fuck with Wayne. That's my dog. Fuck with Pusha too. And Pusha's Pusha. <laughs> Every time we get, me and Pusha get together, it's magic. It's a pretty good Ross impression, man. That's what I do. Lemon pepper. Everything. You know how we play. I, I, might play. Go, I might go to Wingstop tomorrow morning. Just because I ain't going to get my opinion on Wingstop. I fuck with Ross. Yeah, you got the Maybach music shit. The last track that, that we didn't touch on, which he already dropped, was Gold Roses with Drake. And... 
Yeah, that shit hard. And I'm gonna say that Drake probably out rap Ross on that record. I'm not mad at Ross for getting out rap on his own record though. A lot of people, a lot of people feel that way. Yeah. I think a lot Drake of people feel that, that way. And I'm okay with saying that, but it's still a dope record overall. It yeah. still goes to that man's catalog. So hell yeah, hell yeah. So that's that. I just found out that this nigga's gonna be in coming to America too. Ross. Ross. What? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. what? Ross Wesley Snipes. Doing what? James Earl Jones. Yo, what if Ross is the nigga that sings "She's Your Queen" to me? You put Ross and come Just to imagine America, Ross too. singing that shit. Though. I don't want to. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what role he's going to play too, but fuck it, he got a role that he acting now. Yeah, but they say um, Eddie Murphy said he's going to play the bad guy in this shit, so he's going to be his own Daryl. I could use a good comeback from Eddie. Eddie, one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. Bro. Oh, Eddie. and Eddie's uh, he's work currently working out the biggest Netflix deal ever. He should. I think it's like I think they said it's eighty million. Eddie Murphy is definitely a legend. And I feel like... One of the greatest to ever do it. No, I feel like Eddie still got it on the stand-up yeah. tip. Oh, yeah. I believe it. He just ain't been there. He ain't did it in a while, but I think he still yeah, got, he it. Still got it. Too. But the thing is, 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 are we ready for if Eddie? He, if he give you a raw part two, a two raw, yeah. and shit like... Or still delirious. Yeah. It should be. Or deliriously raw. He might give you some fire. Yeah. But I believe Eddie. That's Kyle's right. nickname, by the way, too. Seriously, <laughs> Raw. <laughs> Don't judge me. Judge your mama. That's why you're here, too. Um, yeah. Sticking on our Maybach wave, uh, we mentioned it before, Meek documentary on Amazon Prime dropped tomorrow, too. Yeah, and I was just about to... Uh, Speak on Meek too. Um, you know he going. He got a new judge. Got a new everything. So yeah. they, he he's about. To, well, he's off papers. Yeah. At this current point, um, hey, his felonies have been swiped at this current point. So now he's just going back through the court system process. You, you see what happens when you get the case out the way. Jay-Z. Yeah. These are the things that happen when you align yourself with Hove. <laughs> Salute the Hove. As always. Salute the Hove. Yeah. Salute the Hove. As always. Salute the Hove. That's Kyle's bottle, by the way. That nigga is lying. <laughs> he has like nine of these shits. I can't afford you, sir. He has like nine of them. I was like, yo, let's get some E&J. He was like, I don't know why they drank that cheap-ass, poor-ass shit. And I was like, well, damn, Kyle, like. This nigga Ja got this bottle from Hove himself. <laughs> nigga, I wish. But I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> One day it's coming, man. Sweet, that shit is in fruition. Yeah. Um... What else happened in news? Oh, Tay K, they hung that little boy, man. They they, they made an example out of him. What are you getting there? Fifty years? Some wild shit. Fifty five. Fifty five. Woo! Ever hit some liquor? That shit make you do yeah. some shit you ain't want to do. I thought it was the jail time, nigga. That's that's the movie hit when you get fifty five years, man. God. Nah, the the move niggas hit when they get fifty five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. They not playing fair with us out here, and y'all niggas know that. Stop niggas be passing out. Though. Yeah, because they that, that court system ain't playing not, fair. They not even giving you the right amount of time. Nah. No. I know a nigga who did some shit that he should have got three, four years for, and they gave him a good dime. So, you got to be careful, man. They not playing fair out here. Hell no, they not. You look lost as a bitch. What are you looking for? Um... <laughs> I'm trying to find out who the fuck you talking to. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> was super lost. Nah. I keep thinking I see something. I don't see it. Now I'm looking I'm looking crazy as a bitch on camera right now. <laughs> That's why I had to address that shit. Nigga. You look- <laughs> um, nah, I'm looking for the other little phone. Oh. I don't know where I put it at. And that shit probably somewhere simple. But now nah, keep it running, keep it running. Oh, we running, we, we doing running. That. <laughs> we Drake running. being on the Ross feature. Drake did drop an album this past weekend. The nigga just reheats. The smartest shit ever, yeah. too. The nigga just reheats cold food and gives it to y'all. <laughs> y'all eat that shit up. Which I ain't mad at, because most of the songs on there was fire. The nigga was like, yeah, I'm... Look at where is that. Look at where is that. These lights get, man. Whole time, the shit right here. But yeah, he... So this nigga... He has three phones, by the way. I released all the albums. 
Release all the all the songs that uh Ja has three foes, by the way. Just so you just gonna keep repeating shit. Yeah. Repeating lies for one. Anyway, so he dropped the the shit with like all songs that he never that he released but they never put on another album. Called a care package. Yeah, so that's like the C size. This nigga ain't even released a B size album. But but <laughs> niggas don't realize that's the second time this year Drake has done that shit. Yeah. Cause he did it with I the mixtape that, that he re-released. I ain't yeah. The um so far gone yeah. shit. He re-released that, yeah. This nigga just reheating cold food and giving it back to y'all. <laughs> and the leftovers is fire. So yeah. Bad at it. He bought the uh he bought the re-release like three old albums too. Fuck it. And people gonna go crazy. Like I said, that verse he gave me on the Ross album was enough for him for the year. Yeah. Nah, he 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 spazzed on it. He blacked on that shit for sure. I definitely give him that. We'll get into that when we break. What down. else you got on the docket, my good kind sir? Oh, uh, what else I put up here? What else I put up here? Uh, I think that was pretty much it for music. We don't want too much shit jumping off in music, though. Uh, <laughs> random entertainment shit. Let's get to it. Kind of music too. Let's get to Nas. it. Nas. You gotta salute the Nas, man. Nas yeah. made a lot of good business moves this year. For sure. So he had a pharmacy company that Amazon ended up. It wasn't just him; he was invested in it. But yeah, Amazon ended up buying that shit for like a billion dollars. So he got he done broke off another piece of money from Amazon. Yo, they said Nas got like a uh, his investments been yeah. booming in the past like two years. <laughs> I know for Nas sure that's the second one shit. that Amazon bought. He did Ring. Yep. Which was crazy. Stretching the shit out of this guy. I need Nas's business advisors. Yeah. Like, he, um... Trying to turn this... He, he doing some shit. 200 and 2,000, B. Oh, some scamming shit. I can turn 2,000 and 200 for you. I'm sure you can. Look, by the <laughs> way, if any of y'all niggas is out there teaching scamming classes, can y'all sign me up? Hypothetically. Hypothetically. Well, like, no, I'm just fucking with y'all. Stop scamming people, yo. That shit terrible. Yeah. Scam banks, not people. Yeah. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, if you're going to do it. Don't steal from people. Yeah. No, they said it was one nigga that, um, he was like a hacker. That nigga stole one penny out of, like, everybody in America's account. That's fire. And that shit still ended up being, like, a couple million. Yeah. And he got caught. That's not fire. Getting caught is not fire. Getting caught for any white-collar crime is not fire. Because they're going <laughs> to hang you. It's over with. Yeah. Like your whole motherfucking existence is gone. You going to the feds? <coughs> the feds, and I mean, from what I hear, the feds is probably the place you want to be if you're gonna get locked up. Don't get locked up. Yeah. If you gonna lock, if you gonna get prison time, get fed time. They say the feds is like a country club for real, as far as prisons go. <laughs> Motherfuckers in there eating lobster and shit. Speaking of country club, <laughs> I don't know if you saw this shit last week. You see Dennis Rodman hitting on Lil Nas X. Nah, I mean, <laughs> fuck no, I ain't see that shit. What the fuck is yeah, wrong with your uncle, man? That is Robin Wiley, yo. He sent he sent the boy a picture of him on a horse. Get the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> with the with the eggplant emoji as the caption, yo. Oh hell no, nah. let's ride. He wild. What the fuck is wrong with him, man? The second shit though, and I'm gonna send you these pictures so you can put them up for the people to see. The second shit was on Instagram. Lil Nas X posted a picture with his shirt off flexing, like, I could bench 300. Yeah. And Dennis Rodman comment was like, well, I'm only 240. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to hit that boy in Old Town Road. Like, bro, that shit is even gay to a gay nigga. Like, you know how somebody that's say something, you be like, yo, chill, that's, that's gay, that's, bro. That's mad gay. <laughs> like, even a gay nigga be like, yo, you got to relax, my nigga. That shit is mad. That shit is extra it's gay. It's <laughs> It makes it even funnier because Dennis Rodman's nickname is The Worm. <laughs> Get the fuck? Yo, that's some shit like an old middle class white lady would say. Well, I'm only 160. Right. Yeah, he's really throwing a fuck. Like, yeah, bitch, who the fuck? That's, that's why he keep going over there with Kim Jong Un. I know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Wow. Let me chill for this nigga send a nuke straight this way. I don't want no smoke. I mean, shit, Kyle property probably big enough for the loop to not affect nothing anyway. It's not. This nigga. So, look, when I pulled up, and y'all can check the tweets, I ain't going to let them delete it. I'm going to screenshot the shit. This nigga told me, yeah, just come through the side garage door. 
this nigga has a front garage. He has three garages. He got one, like a regular shit in the front of the house. Then he has like a side of the house garage. Then he got one in the backyard. I have a shit in the backyard. That's what he called. Because he, he told me, he, I forgot why he technically called it that. You know what I'm saying? It was something about I the square footage. I have one garage that's attached to my house that the, happens to have the, a side door. The square footage or something. He was like, I was like, yeah, that's a nice ass garage. He was like, oh, this shit only fits four cars. It's, it's really a shed. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this nigga. For your own four cars. Um. What the fuck did you? Oh. We'll, we'll get it. I, I guess what I'll I do with what? what? No, Hold no, on. No. You, you said something about nukes and being able to defend your property and shit. Which. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Because Brock going. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll get it. <laughs> we'll say that. I'm going to say that, though, because it's all kind of part of what I'm going to go into later, I guess, for our main yeah. topic of the day. What's next? Um, Sports, man. I kind of like not having to dictate the show. You should do this every week. I could. I was really ill prepared yeah. this week. I tried to be, but nigga, I had my ACL replaced. I'm sorry, it's a little pain and shit. This nigga's the only nigga I know that don't play sports that keep <laughs> that keep tearing shit. Fuck you. <laughs> I was in a terrible life altering car accident. This nigga tore knee. his ACL in his cubicle, trying to get up to go put his food in the microwave. <laughs> Damn, this nigga. He gonna play my job. He gonna call me fat. They was like, yo, oh, there's jokes mixing that. It's like, yo, there's pizza it. in the break room. This nigga was like, uh, uh. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I did tear my meniscus playing kickball <laughs> with my job though. This this is bad. Sitting on the bench though. Nah, I was starting, B. He was, I was starting. He was, it was just the game never actually started. We was, we were still warming up and I did that shit. They was calling him in. He was like, me? I get to play now? Nigga tore his shit trying to run to run to the base. I'm definitely way more athletic than y'all. Don't let him fool you. Yep. What you want to put on that? My hands. We can <laughs> <laughs> see these hands, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> That's my, <laughs> my go-to. <laughs> I will beat your ass. So anyway, back to sports. <laughs> oh um, shit. Yo, man, it's mad random. <laughs> NFL season starting. You know I'm happy about that. Preseason game start. Well, like I said, this. Now, fuck all that. Everybody. When this nigga heal, we're going to do a triathlon. But it's going to be like a hood nigga triathlon. Cause <laughs> we got to do some shit that we both can do. Yeah. And at the end, we're going to just fight. That's so, we tired of shit. So we're going to race. We're going to do a foot race. We're going to do something else. And then we just going to fight at the end. That work. I'm with this shit. But, nah, go ahead, we, NFL. We can record that for y'all, too. NFL, your man with the foot problems. That's what you were starting with? I was just going to say I'm happy the NFL season is back, but yeah, yeah and Tony Brown foot fucked up. I'm watching this year. His shit really is fucked up. I mean, it I don't know like, about injured-wise, but have you like, seen this nigga's feet? This shit like a crocodile coming out of his skin. That shit was bad. <laughs> that shit. <coughs> they said he got frostbite from a cryogenic chamber. That's some rich nigga shit. Why the fuck? This <laughs> nigga. Rejuvenation and some shit, but... Yeah, man. That shit really like King Cobra skin that you just... That shit was bad. Yeah, that shit looked like a, a turtle giving birth to, like, another reptile. That's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> but the reptile... The other reptile is fully grown with claws and shit. Like, that shit just looked bad. We gonna put the picture up for y'all to see, too. That shit is mad flaky. Uh, yeah. No, so, I'm, just glad, I'm just glad football back, man. You know, I need I need my dose of football. Yeah. I, I mean, do have a sports question for you, which, which you might have an input on, because you, you are a 49ers fan, even though they're trash. Um, How many Super Bowls the Eagles won? We got one two years ago. It's pretty recent. What have you done lately? Pretty, pretty recent. We was in the playoffs last year. What does that mean? We're going to be in the playoffs. So y'all didn't win shit. Y'all didn't do shit. Y'all didn't do shit last year. Okay. What's your question? Oh. Uh, Kaepernick still ain't got a job, man. He don't need one. But it's not even just him, though. Repeat, here's where I'm going with it. Carmelo and the NBA having the same problem. I'm not going to let you compare Carmelo to Kaepernick, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> that shit is not about to fly right now. And they I love Melo to death. Stand but for great th What the fuck Melo's standing for right now? For niggas who, who cheat and get left. <laughs> 
His interview with Stephen A was fire though. That's what I was actually getting to. Though. Yeah. Um, what you see, what you thought about that? But I nah, just found it strange that. I mean, I do kind of feel who like really, he, he who are really good at their jobs don't yeah. have fucking jobs. But, and and this is about to be a weird question because I'm probably one of Melo's biggest fans. But is Melo still good at his job? Yeah, Melo do the same shit he been doing for years. Melo, he probably what costing his teams to fucking play? Yeah, of course. <laughs> but no, he go. Melo can give you. Because he's older now. I say Melo give you 15 a game. He's not yeah. going to play no defense. Carmelo has never played any fucking defense. Nah, he's you just going to. expect Melo to play defense. You're trying looking. to score 50 every game. Yeah. He's not playing defense. That's not his. You put Melo on the bench and let him come in and score. But see, There's no way you can tell me Melo don't deserve a bench job. But that's the thing. Melo don't want a bench job. He do want a bench job. That's what he said on the interview. The nigga said on the interview. I I'm must have missed that part because he was saying he didn't want to be no role player. He don't want to be, oh, he you want to be the... You were misquoting that nigga terribly from that Stephen A. <laughs> he don't want to be no role player. He don't give a fuck how none of these coaches or team yeah. owners feel about that shit. And he was like, niggas better not call him unless that shit right. That's how niggas feel like Melo talking. <laughs> <laughs> he just said it in the most corporate way ever. <laughs> so. Yo, how old is that ginger ale? I just got this today. I got it because I knew he was going to be drinking. I'm considerate as a friend. Get the f- So go ahead. What were you saying? No, I just find it weird. Both of them niggas are good at their job and they don't have no fucking job. Yeah. I know if Nick, uh, if, if Carson Wentz go down this year for the Eagles, nigga, y'all better call Kaepernick. Yeah, dog. And the crazy thing is with but- Cap, I don't think Cap is really pushing the play now. I could be wrong. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but oh, you missed—you the, must have missed the commercial. This thing just dropped. Yeah, I did. It's like a still ready commercial. This thing dropped the whole video, like just showing that he's still ready to play. He in, he in football condition. Yeah, they say he's been in the gym since yeah. he first got blackballed. He ain't got no trade. But that's the thing. Time. So he won the collusion case. They didn't drop the amount of, that he won on that. So we know that shit was very significant. I heard this shit was like 10, 10 million. I heard they get any shit behind closed doors. Word? I heard it was more than that. I don't know. You gotta check our sources, but but none of the sources is real sources because any source that knows the true facts can't talk can't about, talk it. about <laughs> it. This is true. So niggas is just all speculating anyway. But we do know he got fifty from Nike. Yeah, yeah, that that we do know. In which yo and Nike yo, I fuck with Nike for that finesse though because they took the money they they got from the NFL endorsement yeah. and gave they it to Kaepernick. Him. They paid him. For this. Um, when y'all watching this video though, and y'all comments, I need y'all to drop your NFL teams. Go ahead and solidify your spot now because we're not switching. If you Eagles, Cowboys, or Redskins, don't comment on my fucking video. I'm sorry, our fucking video. I'm gonna be on the fucking video. You're gonna see a bunch of Eagles shit on there. So that's the only reason why I don't want no Eagles fan because of this nigga. I don't have a problem with the Eagles as a team. We're I just Super don't Bowl like bound this year. You said that last year. We were we Alshon dropped the fucking pass, man. We came out and started kicking New Orleans ass. So you mean it t- how much does how much does Alshon get a year? What is this? What is his contract? It, it might be about twelve million. Somewhere you get twelve like million a that. year. So you mean to tell me you paying a nigga twelve million a year to drop passes? He, he, that was the only, I, that's the only pass I remember him dropping last year. Uh, for tw- number one, I don't have no hands, and for twelve million dollars, nigga, I'm catching everything. You a nigga, a, you got like tiny raccoon hands. I slap the shit out you with him. Though. <laughs> like these shits would slap the shit out of nigga. Think my good hands, but. Motherfucking, you made me forget what the fuck I was. Oh yeah, no, nigga, for twelve million dollars a year, nigga dropped the pass. Nigga, I will take a a bullet. From, and it wasn't even that he just dropped. No, the pass. I would it take a bullet from Vic in his prime and catch it. And it happened to be intercepted, so it, it just. No, I will take a bomb bullet from Vic in his prime and catch that shit, ten yards out, for twelve million a year, and that shit is damn near impossible for professional wide yeah. receivers. So what you saying is you paying this nigga for nothing, really. You paying him to get you there, but not get you there. We'll be in the Super Bowl this year. Um, you mean us, like BYOB staff? You trying to get tickets? We can get some to, events. We can get, get some. some in. First of all, Super Bowl tickets are way too expensive. I'm trying to get some media passes. That's what I, that's what I thought you was talking about. Oh, yeah. I can't. That's why I said the BYOB. They not going to give us that shit, though. They might. I got some ideas. They might give us some shit. 
Because I might, we might, I might end up dropping a football review on Sunday and like game predictions and shit like that on Sunday yeah. mornings. When we, so we might give them a reason to. We can fuck around the corner of the market. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, um, <laughs> what else is happening? NFL, NFL. Because I've been paying a little bit of attention. I know niggas is getting that, getting that motherfucking ass whooping in this motherfucking fantasy league. Yeah. I won't all smoke. Hey, let's do a BYOB fantasy league for fun. That is an ugly face in the camera. I don't know if y'all can see that shit. No, they can't. Oh. <laughs> That's fucked up. Record. This nigga put his face all in the camera. It's terrible. Like Ace Ventura when he yeah. was in the <laughs> whole view. <laughs> nah, but, um, I think we should do a BYB fantasy league just for fun. I'm in enough money leagues. Yeah, we could do it for fun because I'm a cheap nigga anyway. So we might drop. We'll drop that info for y'all next show for the football season to start. We'll do two. We'll do one with us and everybody who's been up here, and then we'll do one with who, who first come first serve with all the. What the fuck about these people who've been up here? I know them in real life. <laughs> Yeah, they in all our money leagues. Yeah. <laughs> I see them gambling throughout the year. Yeah. So, yeah, we could do that. Um, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it, though. Like I said, NFL season right around the corner. Preseason start tonight. By the time y'all see this, a couple preseason games will be in the... Nah, preseason started last week. I mean, that Den- was the Hall Denver of Fame and, game. Nah, it was Denver and... Uh, and Atlanta. Yeah. yeah, they call it the Hall of Fame game. It don't technically count as a preseason game. I mean, it was trash anyway, but... I watched it all. Nah, it was... I ain't gonna lie. That last uh, little pass was, at the end... Yeah, you got it. They had football in a couple months. It was just entertaining. So, uh, so I guess we'll get to our main topic. Yeah, yeah. Nothing new happened in the NBA, so we don't gotta... Yeah, no. LeBron's still be LeBron. Yeah. Um... I want to start off with a moment of silence. We did have two mass shootings this past weekend. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, one in El Paso and one in Dayton, Ohio. So, let's get him a moment. No, uh, that shit crazy. I actually lost a friend, man. Rest in peace to D. Beatrice Curtis. Yeah. Uh, she was, she from Philly. She lived here. I met her back in like 2007. We all used to work at this job together. The job was some bullshit, but everybody there had fun. I mean, yeah, good people. And she just happened. To, I think she moved up there for her new job with Anthem. Her and the other woman, Monica Brickhouse, they both from the area. So they just they just got up there, and they just haven't been in the wrong place in a long time. So that shit crazy. You never really think that you know somebody who's who's a victim of these mass shootings. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, this is wild. And the crazy, it's like even the one that happened here, like, I didn't know nobody. She you know happened right in Virginia so, Beach and I didn't know nobody here. And then you talking about shit happens. In Ohio. 10 hours away, 11 hours away, and then. I'm looking at the name and I'm like, for real? So, definitely rest in peace to be at Beatrice Curtis and, and Monica Brickhouse from the area. Um, and, and to all those people who lost their lives this weekend, you know what I'm saying? The nine that was in. in Ohio, the 21 that was in Texas, like, that shit retarded, yo. Yeah. That shit retarded. Shit getting senseless, man. World going one way, people going another. And that's the fucked up thing, is like, no, and I, the, the, the shit that, that I didn't like, though, is that they were saying that um, these little white boys with broken families is the reason why they snapping like that. Like, my nigga, how many motherfucking black kids grow up without dads that don't shoot shit up? I grew up with a dad. I don't shoot shit up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, like that's just. You know what I'm saying? I played violent video games my entire life. I don't yeah. shoot shit up like. Nigga, I played Grand Theft Auto last night. I didn't wake up trying to kill nobody. I see people die in front of me in real life, and yeah. I don't like. Yeah, on, like, like that shit not, ain't. We're not shooting up random people and shit in Walmart. So stop putting it on that shit. Yeah, motherfuckers are sick. That shit is, man, the same like... Same token, defend yourself, yo. Please, and my brother, please practice your Second Amendment right. It's there for a reason. Please. It's, it's, it's there for a reason. Yeah. I, I know I carry every and day. I, every day, everywhere I go. And I'm going to tell you, I don't care if you legally can't carry. Motherfucker, get you one. 
and at least leave that bitch in the house. Yeah, I'd rather get caught with it than without it. Than without it. At least something for the crib, something for the car. Keep that bitch in the, like, yeah. if you can legally carry, carry. I carry with me everywhere. That's what when I'm I go to Walmart, I go to 7-Eleven. If I happen to step foot in the church, I'm carrying in the church. Yeah. But ain't, no, ain't nothing sacred right now. So uh, I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Always. That's just what it is. So. Definitely do that. But. And then one of these days, you know what I'm saying, this nigga cow get the set tripping. <laughs> Boy, I'm about to build an arsenal in the crib. <laughs> Like real, real life, man. Get some shit to protect you and your family, cause people are fucking stupid. I don't under- What do you think it is that make people do dumb shit like that, man? I think part of it. I mean, I don't know in a in a in a mass sense, like, cause it's a lot of them that does it. That's what I mean in a mass sense. But I think part of it is the fact that we keep making these motherfuckers famous. Every time they shoot the shit up. All you see is they face plastic against every, uh, every news station. That shit is on every TV show. All you hear is they name, they name, they name. TV, boom, picture, boom, 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 boom. Like, you keep seeing them. It makes sense. It's like they famous. Everybody know who the fuck Timothy McVeigh is. Yeah. You know what the motherfucker that shot Virginia, the black dude that shot Virginia Beach up looked like? No. Whoo. That's a good point. I still don't know what he looked like. Bro, I seen it on the news specifically. They said that they're not going to put him, they're not going to put his picture out because they want to focus on the victims. I seen, do, they said that I, I do remember that. I do remember that. They didn't put him out because they want to focus on the victims. I just didn't click that they do it with all these other white people, though. Every single white dude, whether it's the young ones, the old ones, whatever the case, they pictures everywhere. They had a broken childhood. So I'm not a conspiracy theorist, they was but depressed. I kind of am. So are these really random mass shootings no i think it's all the same nigga all of them look alike especially the young all of them look like the nigga that played mclovin don't disrespect me love you <laughs> <laughs> all of them niggas look just like mclovin one bro. fucking name what are you seal <laughs> yo that's my fucking movie <coughs> for facts um i'm just i don't understand and it's america that has this problem yo I was looking it up. There are a couple of other countries that allow people to purchase automatic rifles and shit without too much hassle. And they still don't have these mass shootings. So, so they claim that the black communities is the ones with the most violence, right? Why is there never, and I'm not saying I want it to be one, I would, you know what I'm saying? But why is there never mass shootings in the hood where motherfuckers is the most oppressed? Where motherfuckers is the, in the worst, the harshest conditions. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I won't say that there's not. Niggas do drive-bys and shit. No, niggas do drive-bys, and, and most of the times, them dumbass, duck-ass niggas hitting fucking little kids. Yeah. They ain't even hitting the person yeah. they aiming for. You know no. what I'm saying? Like, they hitting two or three. But I'm talking about, like, a motherfucking calculated man. Oh, shooting. yeah, no. You ain't never heard that shit happen in no hood. Nah. Niggas don't walk up to house parties and shoot the whole house party up. Yeah, like... They're going to shoot in the air three times, and then when everybody running, they're going to aim for the nigga that they're looking for. But it ain't like these white people be planning. They be having hit lists. They be having all kind of shit going on. Then they just like, they just wake up one day like, I'm going to go on Walmart. Probably looking in the mirror, pumping themselves up and shit. And they just go do that shit. And it's just, it's sad that it's not, I mean, it's sad that there's never any civilians in these situations that have weapons on them to defend themselves. But, dog, uh, you gotta think. First of all, dumbass is talking about the Walmart employee. Of course, they're making jokes, but the Walmart employee seeing a nigga walking up with an AK 47. Like, why aren't they stopping? Nigga, I'm a door greeter at Walmart, bitch. What the fuck you want me to do? For the most part, nigga, I ain't got no hammer. I'm out of there. I, the most you would heard me say is, oh he's my God, he's, he's got a gun. <laughs> And I'm out, bitch. <laughs> it, I yell it again as I'm running. But, but nobody thing, has, though. nobody ever has weapons on them to just stop and but think, exchange fire the, with these people. For the past few, like mass shootings that we've seen, they've been gun-free zones. That that one movie theater, however many years ago that was, with the, the yeah. Joker motherfucker, gun-free. He drove from his house to that movie theater. This nigga drove past. 
like five movie theaters to get to that particular one. You know what I'm saying? So that was a gun-free shit. Every school is obviously a gun-free zone. Um, I'm going to tell y'all right now, if I walk in there, it is not a gun-free zone. Oh, me neither. My shit is on me. But pretty much I'm sorry that every fucking... Away. But I also know that I'm not retarded yeah. and I'm not about to do no retarded shit. Yeah, yeah, shit. for sure. It's specifically for my protection <laughs> and possibly for the protection of others around me. Yeah. yeah and yeah. that's another thing, like, but they shooting up gun-free zones. That's pussy. Marathons and shit. Shit where you know nobody really is going to have a hammer on them. That's pussy. Like, niggas is running marathons. Like, they not going... They not thinking about no yeah. shit like that happening. So they going to all these different gun-free zones where they know nobody going to have a weapon. Cause they pussy for real for real. That's pussy. Cause they they really bitches. They don't really want to deal with that consequence. So then they gonna do that, and then once they get away with it, or you know get it over with, or the police come and then they kill themselves. Or they get talked down this and nigga got into, talking into, into surrender. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yo, how you like shoot him in the face? Or as a least, cop, you ain't want to just shoot him in the face just yeah. for what he just did. Or at least get him in Because by all rights, you could have got away with it as yeah. a cop by shooting him in the face. But see, I don't know. I'm a little more vindictive than just shooting him in the face. Because I feel like dead men don't learn lessons. So what I'm going to do, oh, he ain't going to see no jail. What I'm going to do, number one, he might. But I'm going to beat his ass. I'm going to take the long way. And we're going to beat the shit out of him the whole way to the jail. And then I'm going to say, damn. We forgot the keys. We got to go back to the motherfucking <laughs> Walmart. Beat his ass all the way back to the Walmart. Probably shoot him yeah, in the kneecaps retarded, twice. Yo. And then we're going to drive back. I definitely said, oh, he, tried, he tried to escape. I shot him. Like, yeah, I knew he was fucking. But yeah, but no, but that's why. Because they know, these white boys know ain't no consequences for them. Yeah, parents stay in touch. Oh, you can, get, you can get caught raping a woman behind a dumpster red-handed and you only gonna get three months of probation unless you black that's... no and you know the funny thing it's gonna be it's gonna be people it's gonna be triggered white people i ain't gonna say white people it's gonna be triggered white people because i know a lot of white people oh, that yeah. know what the fuck is going on and not they're not racist. Dumb. i mean yeah. i can tell you i'm not racist but i'm kind of yeah. racist but I'm, but no what i'm saying is it's gonna be triggered white people that say oh you gonna pull the you you like to pull the race card but why people only pull that race car shit up when it's something that makes them uncomfortable? Yeah. The race the, the race car argument only get pulled up when, when they get uncomfortable in the conversation. You ain't never noticed that shit, huh? No. You ain't never seen a white person say something about pulling up the race car when it's like a comfortable conversation. Or it's like something, you know what I'm saying? Something that can flow. Yeah. It's always when they uncomfortable in some shit. And they don't really have no rebuttal that's logical behind the shit. Oh, yeah. You, oh, you're going to pull the race card? <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. And right now, it's the king. <laughs> Slap that yeah, bitch on the win. table. What's up? Shit win every fucking time. Oh. That's wild, man. Yeah. I mean, I guess the main point I want you guys, protect yourself, man. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Be aware of your surroundings. Stay aware. Yeah. Do whatever you got to do to protect your family, man. Yeah, because motherfuckers is crazy, dog. Like, dog, and even if, shit, you might be going to pull it out and get shot, but at least you know. I was trying. Bro. You tried. I I ain't, I want to sit and duck sitting there cowering, fearing for my life. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. What you got to do, man? Protect yourself. <laughs> it's a tough subject to end on, but, I mean, it's a, it was a tough shit to end the week on, too, yeah. for real. That shit was, yeah, that shit, it's never, it's never an easy situation to talk about. But the fucked up thing is, the shit happens so much, we becoming numb to it. Yeah. Not completely numb, because it's still, you know what I'm saying, but it's like, no, it's are. more so like, again, damn, another one? It, it's, I think with me, it's to the point, I'm just like, anybody stop them? Like, and I didn't realize you said most of these places were gun-free zones, but Walmart's not a gun-free zone. No, it's not. Right. But see, ain't nobody thinking to run to the gun section in Walmart and go, like, I'm sure shit probably happened quick, but ain't nobody thinking to run to the gun section in Walmart, get, get one of them shotguns I'm busting that glass load up. Like, yeah, that glass getting busted over. And I know they don't, um... And I'm not saying everybody got to be brave hard, but it's got to be somebody, yo, who just... 
And you hear a couple people in them situations who do what they can to save other people. Yeah. But it's just somebody gotta do something. No, but it's like it's like fight or flight. Yeah. It's like fight or flight. Like a person don't know what they gonna do in the in the situation of distress. That's like a nigga kick this shit in right now. You can have a gun here, I can have a gun here. The nigga kick it in. One of three things gonna happen. Either we both gonna freeze, we both gonna shoot him, or one of us gonna freeze and the other one mm-hmm. gonna try to make a move. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? But it's fighting, you don't really know. Nigga can have all the training in the world at the gun range, shooting targets, doing the little courses where you oh, it's definitely different running when and flipping. Back. And it's, it's definitely a, different when bullets come back at you. So it's it's just one of them. It's one of them things. It's just like I guess it's fight that's or flight. Just what my heart wants, man. I just want somebody to stop these. But yeah, but see, I look at it like this. If I sit here, no. If if I go make a move, yeah, I might die. But if I sit here, I'm, I'm definitely dead. going I'm to die. Definitely dead. You know what I'm saying? So I rather take Something the chance. Give, of, yeah, yeah I rather take the chance of living than guaranteeing death. Unless the nigga just catch me on a depressed day. Then I might make him put the gun down. I might just be like, do it! <laughs> fucking do it! Now! Come on! That's what the white, fuck are you waiting for? That white side coming out of you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but see, you, you start doing that, the nigga might be like, damn, can you... I mean, I know I'm shooting this shit up right now, but do you want to talk about yeah, it? Yeah, you want <laughs> Like, nigga, I thought I was depressed. I, I, I feel that way, too. Do you want the gun? <laughs> now you became a depressed. Yeah. Nah, uh, but yeah, again, positive pray, notes. Yeah, man, prayers for them people. Everybody who lost somebody, like I said, I know I lost somebody personally who I've known for quite some time. Like, I know a gang of people we all gonna have a little bit more for her. That's how many people that I know that know her and how well, how good of a person she was. So, yeah. Um, that's my positive note, man. Please try to protect yourself at all costs, man. At all costs. Protect yourself, protect your family, and protect yeah. your peace. Mentally, spiritually, protect yourself at all costs. It's a cold world out here. People try to take that shit from you. Yeah. But also, listen up. Listen and be understanding of people, man. I think if more people open their ears and shut the fuck up sometimes, the world would be a better place. Yeah. And matter of fact, I want to I wanna build on something. This is my positive note, but I'm going to build up to it. So... Check on your people. Right. We, we, we so accustomed to, shit, if they don't hit me, I ain't gonna hit them. We so accustomed to that. We so accustomed to, man, I ain't gonna keep reaching out first. Or all that shit is just like, but then. That shit petty. Yeah, that's like, me and you, we don't talk for six, seven months. And it's like, man, shit, that nigga don't hit me. I ain't gonna, you know what I mean? I guess he all right. And then one of us passed, the other one gonna be like, damn, bro. I should have hit this nigga. I was just thinking like, about hitting him. I should have hit the nigga. Like, nigga yeah. And especially if the person passes on like some suicide shit or depression or something like that, it's like, damn, yo, like my conversation could have been the wonder. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, fuck all that pride shit when it come to hitting people up. Like, at least you know you gave forth a, a conscious effort to, to keep in contact with somebody. I ain't saying you got to call them every single day and they never reciprocating the phone calls, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying, we all get caught up with life. We all get caught up with life, so... Check on your people, man. If you really genuinely care about somebody, you don't have to wait for them to hit you up to see what they got going on or check on them and make sure they're okay and shit like that. So I think we all need to get out of that habit. I know, I know, honestly, I do, but I don't do it in that sense. I just get so caught up with everything I got going on around me. It's just yeah. like, damn, I ain't talking to such and such in a minute. But niggas tell you, I hit people up. They be random as a bitch. They do. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, they like, yo, um, I'm with really my boyfriend. Why are you calling me at 2 in the morning? But it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we talk wrong, wrong situation. Wrong. My bad. So, uh, <laughs> but nah, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta let that pride go. Because like, that's mostly what it is. It's pride. And then and it's, it's another word I'm looking for. I'm a little buzz, so I can't figure it out right now. But. It's selfishness, too, in a sense. Because it's just like you you putting yourself over the situation. You putting your 
personal emotions yeah, over the situation. Yeah, yeah. Like, I ain't, oh, I ain't hitting this motherfucker and he don't hit me. Yeah, it's man. just like, damn, at least hit him to see why. It's a lot of problems. If you too. feel that way, like, that motherfucker might have got hit by a car and I mean, been in the hospital for the last two months. We could do a whole episode on communication and how people's communication skills are fucked up between yeah. friendships, relationships, business-wise, like... People just don't know necessarily how to communicate, so... Yeah, episode three, communication is trash. I think we're going to revisit those topics, too. Yeah. yeah we're going to revisit those topics. Yeah. But, yeah, that's my positive note, man. Check on your people. Stop being fucking idiotic when it comes to checking on people. Everybody goes through shit. So... Don't don't contribute to it. Dead that shit. Yeah. And that's it. Remember. No condoms. You said protect yourself. Oh. I didn't mean I didn't protect yourself, just don't use condoms. You, you better pray. Treat it like a bowling ball. Two in the paint, one in the stink. <laughs> You got to do the kiss because you probably going to eat. Anyway. Sam, you're so sad. Next week. <laughs>